If you are new here, don't sneeze at me. For the returning viewers, thank you so much, you beautiful people. Maybe there's nothing wrong with me and I'm just a normal human being. This video is a comedic discussion about people in the fitness industry giving silly information or doing peculiar things, which leads to the humorous referencing of certain people who use chemicals. I do not promote the use of anything. This channel does not promote the use of any chemicals. I'm not the guy for that, obviously. Doing the anabolic juice itself and being castable for 90s action movie does not make you a joker per se. There are people on YouTube who are enhanced, who give insightful, intelligent fitness information. And then there's Dr. Tony Huge. I do also think that Michael Hearn could be natural. I mean, I use SARMs to cure people for diseases. Vitaly has a website called Vitaly Uncensored. He should uh, be censored. A woman was running in Miami, jogging or something along those lines, and Vitaly jumped out of the bushes. Oh, and by the way, due to the times we are living in, the training mask does actually have a legit use now. Not sure that's what they were going for, and if you don't know what the elevation mask looks like, here you go. Or just go full predator. Introducing Hulk and Conan. Dylan, you son of a... Conan the Biceparian, 25 inch biceps. Arnold is not impressed. Middle name Hulk, first name Tony. <laughs> Compose yourself. And this is the Hulk, or is this the Hulk? Or this one, or this one, or this one. Who did it better? You be the judge. But for sure, definitely not this guy. We will get to the Arnold Schwarzenegger fanboys later. And when it comes to where you stand on the issue of enhancement or not, we are all humans, we all have different opinions. However, we can all agree on the fact that high mud is terrible. I never thought I would say this on this channel, but it's not the size that matters, it's what you do with it. Bruh. Like walking on Asian streets topless at night with a camera crew behind you. Classic cringe from Dr. Tony Huge. Charles Hughes is your real name, mate. Just so we're clear. The best type of relationship for me would be to have three girlfriends and we all live together. Anyone who names himself Huge is for sure not compensating for anything. It's been really hard to get all the girls to stay in one household together and not fight. Mm. Girls just get so catty. He's not an actual medical doctor. I know that you're shocked. Take a deep breath and have a seat. I could make a whole video dissecting this picture. That is what we call visual stimulation. So we do sell research chemicals. Some of these chemicals not approved yet for FDA, by the FDA for human consumption. Okay, that sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. Basically anyone who sells and promotes those substances which are not approved or deemed fit for human consumption, the magic alternative is a joker in my opinion. That stuff is insane. This is Zoolander, straight to DVD version right here. Dude on the right's got the smolder down. This part of the show is called Dana Lynn Bailey pushes a hummer. <laughs> Devon Physique, the interim Instavirus king behind this guy, has managed to game the system by moving from the Instavirus to TikTok. Hey yo, tattoo check. You're welcome. And if you don't know who Dr. Tony Huge is, he's kind of like Dan Bilzerian, the 3 a.m. Saturday morning slot on that obscure satellite channel that you get to by putting in the numbers wrong. You know the drills. He used to have a highly viewed YouTube channel where in his channel trailer, he would state how he was a millionaire traveling the world, experimenting with his physique, where the focus was very much on pharmaceutical use and his channel was terminated because he was promoting and selling substances which are research chemicals which are not approved for human consumption. Some people found his YouTube channel educational, others found it dangerous. The fact is it was terminated. I mean I use SARMs to cure people for diseases. Did you ever consider you're full of shit? So the level of irresponsibility to making claims like this is striking. This title was interesting also. And, and for longevity and you know, you, if the anti-aging community is probably the best route to try to get these things legalized. When your like to dislike ratio is this lopsided, that's pretty telling. And when your comment section is this brutal, that is also pretty telling. Here's some elevator music to give you some time to read these comments. <laughs> And so Dr. Tony Huge is 37 years old and he talks about his chemicals curing diseases and also that they can have an anti-aging property to them. Let's just say I'm skeptical. That was diplomatic. His video farts are similar to Vitaly and Bilzerian, the adrenaline junkie stuff with beaches, babes and bazookas all bought and paid for, like a Carl Walker lockdown party. Choke of the week. This is from my last video, here's why fat burner supplements are useless. 
That was humorous. Don't tell Vince Del Monte. In my last video where I talked about legal fat loss supplements and fat metabolism and how they are not effective, I did also reference the fact that there are illegal fat loss supplements which I do not recommend you taking as they can cause fatality. And so I would really like your input on Dr. Tony Hughes' information. And I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy your comments about this. And so I've regularly featured Vitaly as a source of comedy on this channel. And the reason that he takes chemicals. Just love to be hard, bro. He just wanted to be hard, bro. And he's so hard that he allegedly did this. You call that a mugshot. This is a mugshot. Do better, Vitaly. Not sure what he was on. Vitaly something, known for rushing the field at both World Cup and World Series games, as well as a popular zombie prank video in Miami, allegedly jumped out of his car and tackled the woman to the ground. When I think of juiced up jokers of fitness, that can mean many things. And when you look at this man's eyes and his actions, he very much qualifies as a juiced up joker. Was it just a prank bro? And so you may be wondering at this point if Bang Energy will drop their sponsored influence of Vitaly. But when you look at the person in charge... <coughs> Probably not. Bradley Martin is a joker and relax if you are a fan of Bradley Martin, he literally is a joker. However, in this video, I did argue that he is a joker in another sense. When he does stuff like this, we will have to agree to disagree. However, to be fair to the man, this was genuinely funny. Quarantine day 15 starting to develop some imbalances. Someone get Jeff on the phone. Got a photo with Jake Paul. Also very witty. However, that is trumped by the fact that Dan Bilzerian is still wearing his short shorts. And so that post by Bradley Martin was just a joke using Photoshop. This is also a joke, but in another way. And I know at this point, some of you will have burning questions about this concept. So let me answer them for you. In order to maintain his size, Mr. Geraldo eats every three hours, usually egg, sweet potatoes, and meat. Brandon Harding. He has that cheeky look on his face. That can only mean one thing, another fake Natty Busted video. Kind of the same as the last video with Simeon Panda, me thinking Simeon's natural. I do also think that Michael Hearn could be natural. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And the best thing about his natty or not videos is that his comment section is better than his videos. And let's just say it's not kind to Brandon. Now, as you may or may not know, I want to start off by saying that I personally am not a natural athlete. I decided to start taking PEDs when I was 19 years old. But you lied about your status for years when you had a large social media following. And, and this is more important, you kind of casually state that you were 19 when you started. And again, this comes to the serious point of taking chemicals when you are a teenager. That is something that is so ill-advised. And when we look at the fake natty issue or the natty or not issue, what's far more important than that is the issue of a teenager taking these chemicals. And in his natty or not video, Brandon does actually look at several people who are in this age group. In Gold's in Venice, he tracks every day. He never cheats, like literally, ever, is never off his diet, eats six meals a day, consistently. I do also think that Mike O'Hearn could be natural. And do you think Mike O'Hearn is natural? Let me know what you think about any of my opinions. He has to be trolling. He has to be creating some fake controversy to try and stir up the comment section, to stir up the views. He doesn't actually need to artificially feed his audience naive statements. He can do that naturally in his videos anyway. His younger brother followed in his footsteps when he turned 18. For using chemicals when you are a teenager, it's just insanity. And not the Sean T type of insanity, it's just insanity. And this is something I cannot get on board with. Of course, there are people who may have medical issues, who have medically subscribed chemicals that they take. That's a different area. When you have people taking chemicals for aesthetic purposes, when they are a teenager, I just think that's complete and utter nonsense. These people's inspiration, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And specifically from the movie that Arnold made, Conan the Barbarian, obviously. But this is my very favorite quote from Tony, sorry the Hulk. Tony said, my wife doesn't like it. However, I'm happy with myself. She has to accept me like I am, or we will have to go on separate ways. I usually tell my wife that she's the only one who doesn't like me. Other women love my size, they love it. Once we were talking in front of my gym and I told her, look, if you don't want me, there are several other girls who does then pointed to all the girls coming to talk to me. Someone's been watching some Magnetic Scott on YouTube, Jens the Beast. So I talked about Jens the Viking or Jens the Beast, Jens Dalsgaard in a previous video. And I talked about some of the legal supplements that he sells. He's a 5% nutrition sponsored athlete. And I don't necessarily like some of the supplements that they sell. However, what I wanted to do is leave you with something slightly different and leave you with the story behind why he does what he does. Jens explains, I lost myself and ended up in prison. But when I was in jail, I was offered some cognitive behavioral therapy. 
The therapy changed my life and the way that I thought. It made me want to help others to become stronger, fitter, and more balanced version of themselves. Three years ago, Jens was released from prison. He decided to change his life for the better by focusing on bodybuilding. Before I went to prison, I started getting my face tattoos, but those inkings had a negative intent. When I was released, I was done with that way of life. To put the past behind me, my brother, who is a tattoo artist, tattooed my face with a new Maori-inspired facial tattoo. Now my facial inking tells stories from my life and who I am now. I also started getting other tattoos, three on my leg, one on my stomach, and the rest of my body is pretty much fully covered. And so I just wanted to leave you with that and I would like your input on his story. I'm James Linker, Shredder Sports Science, finished. (laughs) 